is, and welcome back to the Parity to CrossFit Open Update Show, powered by Progenix. This week, we are going to talk about 17.2, but first, we're going to review all of the drama surrounding 17.1. My name is David Paradiso, and I am joined by my full panel this week with Jessica Suver back from assignment, and Negan and Lucille over here from Team Misfit, uh, Joshy G. Let's talk about what happened. We have 263 athletes signed up from the gym. Absolutely amazing. And this Saturday, we had 141 athletes show up to perform. Tell us how it all uh, shook out this week. Well, you know, the teams, they came to play on Saturday. Of course, some uh, more than others. Let's talk about the rankings. If you didn't check it out by now, sitting in fourth place is her team. Uh, we won't mention uh, the name because it doesn't we need to be mentioned. We have the cutest mascot. Uh, that, is, that could be true. Uh, third place is my team. And I know what you're going to say. Oh, all the, the, the smack talking, all the shit talking. Well, guess what? My team is within striking distance of second place, currently being held by the team with the dumbest name, Thunderjacks. It makes no sense. If you look at the logo, it makes no sense. But whatever, sitting in first place is this guy's team. And I don't know how you did it. I don't know how many Russians you paid to hack the leaderboard. Of course, some of my team members weren't even able to put in their uh, score, but that's, well, I'll give you credit where credit's due, David. Your team is sitting first in first place and sitting pretty, at least for right now. That's right, guys. Uh, we're only one weekend with four weeks to go. But what happened this week was a lot of athletes came out, put on great performances, and we have some awards to give away. Remember, each week there's a sponsor. So let's start with the Open uh, Spirit Award for this week. Amazing performance highlight for those that were there. And it was Don Steinberg performing 75 burpee box jumps for the first time ever. Absolutely amazing. Yen to Don. And Jessica is going to talk about our scaled and RX winners. We also have prizes, full Lululemon outfits for our scaled winners, which were Katie Partney and Jeremy Colantonio. And we're going to go to our RX winners from our community team, which were Tim Natividad and Ali Gasser. And they're going to tell us a little bit about the workout. I'm going to cut to Jessica now. Thanks, Jessica. Hey, guys. I'm here with our two community members from the first open workout, 17.1, Ali and Tim. They're going to tell us a little bit about how they did and what they thought about the workout when it first came out. Allie? Well, I was super excited about it because it's just, you can go 100% the whole entire time, which I don't suggest that you ever try. So it was a really good time. You just uh, kind of blacked out and went for it. And what was your time? Uh, 13.01. Good. What about you, Tim? Yeah, so I, I don't know if you've ever worked out with me. I usually like to come out of the gate hot um, and burn out, uh, which was the first thing I thought of when I saw the announcement. Uh, the second thing I thought of was to come up with a plan. So I had a pacing strategy. Um, I stuck to it. I wrote it out um, and uh, decided to give myself uh, enough time on the burpees, which was fantastic. Um, and it did really well. So uh, stick to the plan and it works. Great. Well, we look forward to seeing how they do on 17.2. Back to you, Jessica. Thanks, Jessica. Your hair looks really nice today. So moving on, uh, that's about it for 17.1, guys. Let's talk about the excitement of 17.2 that was just released. Yeah, I mean, we got, uh, we got two dumbbells instead of one, so uh, be excited about that. We got lunges for those of you that like to lunge. We got bar muscle-ups. We got toes to bar. And for you scaled athletes, we got uh, hanging knee raises and, of course, pull-ups. So it's going to be very exciting to see our athletes take on quite a task this weekend. Like a lot of these open workouts, it's going to be a great test of fitness, some strength, some gymnastics, a little bit of engine in there, uh, kind of a repeat workout. I'm pretty excited to watch some of our athletes do this. Who do you think is going to do okay on this workout? Well, I mean, it's obvious that our two climbers, Matt and Max, are probably going to crush this workout. Oh, come on, they weigh like 120 pounds total. Of course they're going to crush this workout. Let's talk about my guy, Chase. Now, I know he's looking for some revenge. He didn't do quite as well uh, this past weekend, but I think he is going to demolish those two jabronis. And if he doesn't demolish those two jabronis, Lucille and I are going to demolish him. So, Chase, you better show up this weekend, all right? And then outside of our elite athletes, guys, uh, we're looking for Frankie the Coconut Girl, uh, who is going to be at this weekend's Saturday Open event giving out free samples, as well as Amy Garrett uh, to do pretty well on this workout. And if you want to know a little bit more about how you might be able to get that edge, maybe get your first uh, muscle up, we're going to go up to Matt, Matty Macros Matt, uh, to talk about nutrition. And uh, Matt, he was on the live feed. What happened there with Dot? Well, last week was definitely a delts like Doc kind of workout, and I'd say that this week is a lats like Matt kind of workout. But that's neither here nor there, because today we are here to talk about the nutrition that's going to fuel you for 17.2. 
Now, when it comes to nutrition for these open workouts, really your training over the last year is what's gonna dictate the range of possible scores that you could get. If you have poor nutrition, you're gonna get the worst score possible. And if you have good nutrition, you're gonna get the best score possible, all right? So, what we have with 17.2 and we saw in the live announcement is a workout that is going to have muscular fatigue be the limiting factor versus your engine like last week. So this is the three energy systems your body is gonna use to actually generate energy for this workout. You've got the phosphocreatine, which your body uses for short weightlifting efforts, the glycolytic, which your body is gonna use for something like a full effort Fran, and then the oxidative energy system, which it uses for one of these longer 12 minute AMRAPs. So most of your energy is coming from the oxidative system, which is gonna rely on carbohydrates and the fat stored on your body. So what you're gonna to wanna to do to fuel up is start eating carbohydrates yesterday, and today, if you're a woman, eat three to four fist size portions of starch. If you're a guy, four to five fist size portions of starch. Paleo people, that's a sweet potato, and normal food eaters, that's things like sweet potato, grains, like oatmeal and rice. You're also gonna to wanna to eat a little bit of fruit Friday night, and then Saturday morning, game day, you're gonna to wanna to eat a normal breakfast. From there, if you have a later heat, you might wanna eat another carbohydrate snack. Otherwise, just make sure that you're mentally ready to go. So now I'm gonna hand it back to Diso, who did not finish 17.1 last week. Oh, man, burn, I was Maddie four reps away from finishing. Besides, whose team's in first by 1,000 points? What place are you in? Okay, oh. okay. Ooh. Guys, you need to set your alarms for 1.30 tomorrow because that's when Chelsea and Max are gonna go head-to-head -head on 17.2, and I think it's something you're gonna to wanna to watch. It should be pretty exciting, guys. Remember, uh, check the website, sign up for heats for Saturday Open Game Day. Our uh, Spirit Award winner and top finishers will be getting gifts from Ramwad, as well as Frankie the Coconut Girl will be there with coconut ice cream starting at 10 a.m. I look forward to seeing you there. And guys, don't forget, participate, show up on Saturday. Just because the workout may look hard, we want you to participate, all right? That's the whole goal of this thing. And if you don't show up and surprise yourself, I'll show up at your house with Lucille and surprise you. So do yourself a favor, show up and participate. Get that first muscle up. Man, Maddie Walrat doesn't wear shoes. That's gross. <sighs> I gotta go.